Now that we've looked at a few more operators, it's worth taking a minute to talk about operator precedence. You know, this is a concept that you're actually familiar with from algebra because you probably remember that 3 plus 4 times 5 is going to be 23 and not uh, 35. And that's because the multiplication happens before the addition. So that is done as 4 times 5 and then we add the 3 to it. That is because of the precedence rules that we have for algebra, uh, which is that multiplication and division happen before addition and subtraction. Okay. That you're very familiar with. But what happens when we introduce other operators? What about the operators for less than, or less than or equal to, or the equal equal? Uh, where do those come in? What about our AND and the OR that we had for Boolean operations? Well, in some ways we can answer that. Uh, because if I say 3 plus 2 less than 4 times 5, of course this is true, uh, but the fact that this works tells us that both plus and multiply are happening before less than. In fact, we can see that because if we were, if somehow less than happened first, and we can force it to happen first by putting parentheses in there, this expression no longer makes sense, and Scala will tell us that. Because we can neither do multiply nor plus on a Boolean, and the less than gives us back a Boolean. So we have a type error if we do that. Okay, so what are the full precedence rules? We know that multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. Okay. It turns out that in addition to the multiplication division, modulo is in this same group. Multiplication, division, and modulo are all part of kind of the multiplicative group. The other thing to note about operators in Scala is that operators can have more than one character to them. We'll see later on the possibility of having operators that have two or three characters in them. In some ways, we've seen that equal equal or less than or equal. Uh, so where would those come in precedence? Is it at the precedence of the less than or less than or, or of the equal sign or is there some for both of them? And it turns out that in Scala, the precedence of, of an operator is based upon the first character. So anything that starts with a star, a slash, or a percent happens at the precedence of multiplicative operations, okay, even if there's other stuff following it. Next down in precedence is plus and minus. Okay, so those immediately follow after the multiplicative ones. There are some operators that start with a colon and they come next, so they will be after the plus or the minus. Then there are operators that start with equal or bang. Uh, so, for example, the equal equal and the not equal are at this precedence level. Okay. Um, then we get less than and greater than. So equal equal binds higher than a less than or a less than or equal. It has a higher precedence to it. Then we get the logic type operators. So things that start with and come next. And this is useful to us because it's very helpful to say, you know, x less than y and x less than z. That only works because the less than is a higher precedence than the and. If it wasn't, we'd have problems with that. After and comes the xor and then the or. So the three logical operators that we had are kind of in this fairly low precedence, but it is important that AND does come before XOR, which comes before OR. Lots of people don't necessarily remember all these rules, and so a lot of times if you're going to write complex expressions, you should use parentheses. So people don't have to remember that AND comes before OR, but AND does have a higher precedence than OR. And then, as we've seen, you can actually call normal methods that have just regular names and use them like operators. And for that, turns out that the lowest precedence is letters. There's actually one other level, uh, there's two other levels in here. 
Below letters is anything that does an assignment. Okay? And once again, this makes sense because you want everything that's on the right hand side of the assignment to fully evaluate before it actually does the assignment. And at the very top here, any symbol that isn't specifically listed here is a higher precedence than all of them. Okay. Um, what are some symbols there? Well, it turns out that you can use a uh, tilde. Uh, there is the back tick. Okay. So there, there are a few other characters that, that you can use, and they wind up being higher precedence than any of these others uh, when you include them. So that kind of wraps up the concept of precedence. Oh, uh, just to we'll keep that around, make that into a string there. Um, and we should go through, I guess, in some ways, you know, some examples of this. We we showed how that comes into play there. If I put in an and here, uh, the then something else, five greater than seven, we get false, and that's because the and did come after all of the other operators that were in there. Um, yeah, so this kind of gives you a basic introduction to when things happen. I guess the other thing that we could show would be the example of the fact that letters uh, are significant, so and where they come. Okay, so three men five, there's only one operator, one value that's being used as an operator in here, and that's the men. As soon as I put a plus, because the plus has a higher precedence than things with letters in them, the three plus three is now six, and so this is six men five, which is of course five. So that's it for our operator precedence.